Seven signs she's pretending not to like you. Ah, the age-old game of hard to get. Why do women pretend not to like you? Is it because they enjoy playing games with your emotions? Or perhaps they're secretly in love with you and don't know how to show it? The truth is, it could be any number of reasons. Maybe she's just not that into you, or maybe she's afraid of getting hurt. One thing is for sure though, there are certain signs that women give off when they're pretending not to like you. And if you know what to look for, you just might be able to decode the mystery and make a move. So without further ado, here are seven signs. She's pretending not to like you. She says, I only like you as a friend. Welcome to the age old game of hard to get. As men, you've all encountered a girl who insists she only likes you as a friend. But is that really the case? Let's delve into the signs that suggest otherwise. First up, her body language. If you pay attention, you might notice that her actions speak louder than her words. She might lean in when you're talking, play with her hair, or maintain eye contact longer than necessary. All these non-verbal cues indicate interest. Secondly, if she's always making an effort to see you, she's not just being polite. Maybe she's suggesting lunch dates or inviting you to hang out with her friends. In any case, she wants to spend time with you, and that's a good sign. Lastly, if she's jealous of other women in your life, it's because she wants to be the only one. Maybe she seems irritated when you mention your female friends or act standoffish around them. Whatever the case may be, it's clear that she's not interested in sharing your attention. In conclusion, if a girl is saying she only likes you as a friend, but her actions suggest otherwise, it's time to make a move. Of course, don't be pushy and always respect her decision, but if you think there's a chance she feels the same way, go for it. She gives mixed signals. Let's be honest, mixed signals are the worst. One moment, you think you're on the same page, and the next, it's like you're back at square one. Unfortunately, this is a common occurrence when someone is pretending not to like you. She may flirt with you one day and then pull back the next. Her communication can be hot and cold, leaving you confused about where you stand. And then there are those provocative text messages leading you to believe that there's something there only for her to act disinterested in person. It's a cycle that can leave you spinning, trying to figure out what's going on. Does she like you or not? It's enough to make your head spin. The truth is, if she's giving you mixed signals, it's because she's not sure what she wants. She may be attracted to you, but something is holding her back. Maybe she's afraid of commitment, or perhaps she's not ready for a relationship. Either way, the best thing you can do is communicate. Ask her what's going on and let her know how you feel. If she's not ready to commit, it's better to know sooner rather than later. Don't waste your time chasing someone who's not ready to be caught. Remember, mixed signals are a sign of uncertainty, not rejection. So be patient, communicate, and trust the process. She always has an excuse. Ah, the classic move of I'm too busy. It's a wild card that can mean a ton of different things, but in this particular case, the meaning is pretty clear. She's not interested, but doesn't want to hurt your feelings. So she'll make up any excuse necessary to avoid seeing you. Maybe she'll cancel plans at the last minute, or maybe she'll conveniently be unavailable whenever you land a date. Whatever the excuse, the message is the same. She isn't interested in pursuing anything romantic with you. Sorry to break it to you, but it's better to know than to spend your time chasing after someone who isn't interested. On the bright side, you can take this as a sign to move on and find someone who is genuinely interested in you. Don't waste your energy on someone who isn't worth it. And if you're feeling bold, you could always ask her directly if she's interested or not. Who knows, maybe you'll be pleasantly surprised. Just remember to be respectful if she's not interested and move on gracefully. She acts disinterested, but keeps bringing up your shared interests. Let's face it, women are complicated creatures. 
one minute they're acting distant and the next minute they're bringing up topics that you two have in common, like it's the most important thing in the world, so why is she being so wishy-washy? It could be that she's pretending not to like you, but really she's just nervous or unsure about how you feel. It's possible that she's trying to gauge your reaction to see if you're interested without putting herself out there. If you find yourself in this situation, don't be too quick to assume that she's not interested. She may just need a little more time to warm up to you. Try to engage her in conversation about the things you have in common and see if you can get her to open up a bit more. But don't be too pushy, as that could scare her off. Play it cool and let her know that you're interested, but you're also okay with taking things slow. Remember, patience is key when it comes to matters of the heart. She's always around, but never alone. Let's be honest, there's nothing more annoying than trying to spend time with a girl you're into, only to have her bring along her entire entourage. What's the deal, right? Is it too much to ask for someone on one time? Here's the thing, if she always has a new guy around or talks about another dude just to make you jealous, it's probably a pretty good sign that she's not into you like that. It's frustrating, sure, but it's better to know now than waste your time pining after someone who isn't interested. Plus, if she's always bringing her friends along on your outings, chances are she's trying to tell you something Maybe she's not comfortable being alone with you, or maybe she's just not that into you. Either way, it's time to take the hint and move on. Of course, it's not always that cut and dry. Maybe she's just shy, or maybe there really is a good reason why she can't be alone with you. If you're not sure what's going on, the best thing you can do is talk to her about it. Be honest about your feelings, but don't come on too strong. Remember, it's always better to get a straight answer than to be left wondering what could have been. She's touchy-feely, but then creates distance. Ah, the classic move of being touchy-feely one minute and then creating distance the next. What could it possibly mean? Well, if you're experiencing this confusing situation, listen up. First off, if she's touching your arm or leg and then quickly backing away, it could be a sign that she's not quite ready for physical intimacy. Keep in mind that everyone has their own timeline for when they feel comfortable with physical touch. On the other hand, if she's physical with you in public, hello hand-holding, but seems cold and distant in private, it may be a red flag. Perhaps she's trying to keep things casual between you two, or maybe she's just not that interested. But wait, there's more. If she initiates physical contact, but then seems uncomfortable or even hesitant, this could be a sign that she's still trying to figure out her feelings towards you. The key takeaway here is to communicate with her and pay attention to her actions. Maybe she just needs space, or perhaps she needs reassurance from you. Regardless of the situation, take the time to understand her perspective and respect her boundaries. She compares you to her guy friends, when a girl starts comparing you to her guy friends, it's natural to feel like you might be friend zoned already. But hold up, don't lose hope just yet. If she's bringing up the differences between you and her other male friends, it may mean she's trying to differentiate you from them because she likes you. Listen carefully when she tells you about her guy friends' qualities that she likes. This could be her way of indirectly letting you know what she is looking for in a partner. And if she asks for your opinion on her male friends, this could be a subtle way of measuring your confidence and jealousy levels. But don't let it get to your head. Don't start comparing yourself with her other male friends. It's a trap. Instead, focus on why she likes spending time with you. Remember, if she is bringing up her male friends around you, it may be a sign that she is comfortable talking to you about other guys. So, it's essential to communicate your feelings and intentions with her clearly. Don't assume that just because she mentions other guys, she is not interested in you. Take it as a positive sign that she trusts you enough to discuss her male friends with you. If you liked today's video, please give us a like and subscribe for more content like this.